I thought we'd do an unboxing. So this is not a new reveal, but I have a brand new box. <laughs> so several years ago, Neptune Systems promised they were gonna make the Trident. And then they made this t-shirt, which had it looking like a unicorn because it was like fake and no one thought it was ever gonna happen. Well, here it is. So how come I've never done an unboxing of this before? Because I was one of the beta testers and because of that, I didn't really have anything to reveal. I was working behind the scenes. Well, my unit recently went kaput. And when I contacted uh, Neptune Systems for support, we went through a couple of troubleshooting steps and they said, we're sending you another one. So I totally expected to get a refurbished one. But when I opened up the box yesterday, I was like, this is brand new in box. This has all the plastic on it. This is awesome. <laughs> so I don't know if I got lucky. I don't know if they just had a surplus. I'm not sure what happened or if they just wanted to treat me right. I don't know. But I got a new one, so I thought, let's open it up and take a look and see what's inside. So the Trident is a water testing machine that you hook up to the Apex controller. And this unit will check your alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium multiple times a day to let you track the trends of your water quality so that you can, in theory, avert disaster with your tank. And that has worked for me many times. So I actually love having the Trident on my tank and it has uh, been a real big benefit. So I'll open up the box. Inside the box is your quick start guide, which I don't know how to, I don't need to look at. <laughs> Here is your box of reagents for two months. And finally, you have the Trident itself. Oh, hang on, here's some tubing. This is gonna be for the sample line to get water from your tank and the waste line to go into a nearby container. And here is a little tiny, uh, it's a one-way check valve. And then the Trident itself, oh, and there's more. <laughs> and then here is our calibration solution to verify that everything's working correctly. And then here is our Trident. One thing you should know is if you ever have a problem with your Trident, you've got to save the original box with its packaging so you can rewrap it to send it back. Very, very important. So here is the unit. This is a drawer in the front where you're going to put all the reagents. This is where the testing gets done behind this plastic panel inside that little uh, vial. And on the back, you're going to connect it to your tank. I use the one link cable straight into my EB832. So that means you have to have a newer Apex, one from 2016 to now. So an A2 or an A3 unit will work fine with this. There was one more thing, I didn't show you the reagents. <laughs> So inside the box itself, we have four bottles. We have two reagent A, because one per month. And then you have reagent B and C, which is gonna be calcium and magnesium. These are good for two months. So that's a two month supply right there. I just realized there's something else I didn't show you that was included in the box and someone might wanna know. So as I mentioned, this is the tubing, but also in the center of this tubing is the one link cable. And the one link cable is very important because it provides the power to the unit. So this tubing is super thin, but it is something you can clean if you needed to purge it with a syringe. But you're gonna need a very fine needle, like what comes in the package of FAptasia. That's the perfect size to clean these out if they were to get clogged. Here is your plugs, one will go in the back. The tubes will connect to these two little uh, connections. No, wait, I did want to say one more thing. So this tubing comes in a very specific length and you are not to cut it. It's very important. So if you end up having too much tubing going to the drain, you, I, I don't know, I've heard it doesn't matter on the output, but I just put the extra tubing inside my bottle to where I have just the right amount going to the Trident. But on the intake line, this distance is very important for it to grab the right water sample. And if you shorten this tube or make it longer, you're gonna get skewed results. So it's very important to not do anything different than what they recommend in the package. This right here is not a one-way check valve. It is a sample line filter. I didn't wanna say the wrong thing as I looked at this, but then as I was reading it to remind myself, let me read it. For a trident used in a system with heavy degrees of particulate matter in the water column, a sample line filter can be installed to help prevent clogs and blockages. So you would run that tube that's gonna go into your sump and you would put this on the very end with the arrow pointing up toward the trident. So now I just need to hook it all up to my aquarium 
get it operational. It's going to take about, I don't know, an hour, two hours to initialize, to do a few samples. And then after about 24 hours of testing, I'll begin to start getting some readings again. So that's where my defective Trident is that I'm going to send back. And here's the brand new one that I'm going to install now. All right, so the one link cable is kind of hard to remove, <clears throat> but usually with a tiny screwdriver, you can press the tab upward and make it release. So I'm trying to do that now. Haha, -ha, success. I think I'm going to clean up that spot before I put the trident in place. I'll use my handy dandy Neptune towel. That's the benefit of going to Macna. You end up with swag you can come home with and use forever. All right. Here's our new one. I'm going to connect my black tubing to the black and my clear tubing to the clear. This is something you just press together. My sample line is going to run from the trident along here through a tube and down into another tube into the sump. So I want to make sure that I have that all fished through properly at this point. This protects the tube from being damaged when I'm pulling equipment in and out. This is something I added to my sump a while back. I actually put some acrylic rod in here that's hollow to fish this tubing through. Takes a minute, but it's a good preventative. And now I can put the sample line filter on the end of my tube. I've checked this piece about five times to make sure I got the arrow pointed in the right direction. So it's pointing toward the trident. Push this on the end, and now I can just put it in the base of the sump and adjust the tubing to the right length so that it's hanging about an inch off the base of the sump. There we go. No detritus will get in that. I need to get that waistline into my empty jug, so I just use a handy one gallon bottle. All right, and I've got the one link cable connected to the trident, but it's not connected to the apex yet. Now I'm going to follow the tasks and go ahead and get this thing completely functional. Time to fill it up with reagents. So carefully pull out the drawer, find our three bottles, our bottle caps. The first one I'm going to install is going to be C which is the magnesium test. Shake it a few times. Let's take this ring off. Didn't need this. At this point I'm installing C, which is the reagent for magnesium. Doesn't have to be super tight. Push it to the back of the drawer. Now we'll do B. And we find the matching cap that has the blue on it to match the label. Set that on top. So one of the things I try very carefully to do is make sure that my tubing doesn't get kinked when I push these back. So I actually pull it toward me a little bit. Number three. Now as I close the drawer, I just want to make sure all my tubings are bending nicely. That's it. 
it is ready to go. Let's go ahead and follow the task and get it started. Let's plug this guy in. That's it. And there's our light. It's initializing. Here we are in Apex Fusion where I've selected Trident Initial Setup. That is the one you use when you're setting up one brand new out of the box. And then you'll get a series of different checklist items you're going to perform and you're going to watch a video for each step. There is no way you can mess this up if you just take the time to pay attention to each of these little 10 second videos. Then I selected the volume size for my waste collector, which the jug is bigger than 2500, but this way I get a notification when it's full. Finally, I tell it how frequently to test, which this is the default and this is what I prefer to use anyway, so it runs four times a day. After hitting send, it uploaded the new configuration to the Apex, and then it prompted me to go ahead and open up my dashboard and look for the brand new tile. As soon as I opened up Fusion, there it was, new tiles on the padlock. I tapped that, inside was my tile for the Trident, which I dragged onto my dashboard, and now I can see what's going on with my Trident anytime at a glance. Currently it says initializing, usually it says idle. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching this little tour of seeing what a brand new Trident looks like out of the box.